What's up guys? Today we are going to be talking about something that I usually don't talk about. Wings of Fire. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm so good at jokes. The Lost Continent. This book... This book just came out on the 26th of last month and I finished it finally. No, we ordered it. So, my mom and I... Well, mostly my mom. We ordered it in November of 2017. I know that is a long time wait and my mom we she looked at I don't know why I'm I'm having trouble today talking it's fine my mom looked at the track thing on Amazon and they were like oh yeah we haven't shipped it yet what excuse me we pre-ordered this in November. We should get this early, like the Barnes and Noble early, maybe a week before. But anyway, I got it on the 30th, I think, the 30th or the 31st. And I finally finished the book. It only took me like two days to read, but it's great. One thing that I like is that when Clear Sight comes to the island of Pantala, she meets the Silk Wings and the Hive Wings. And there are no. Mm, there are no hive wings. <laughs> she meets the silk wings and the leaf wings because there are no hive wings at that time because hive wings were evolved from inter inbreeding and interbreeding of um, silk wings and stuff. So a, a night wing and a silk wing had dragonets and of course they were hybrids and so then those hybrids had dragonets and so forth and so forth which created an entirely new species which is kind of weird to say that like siblings had kids with each other but you know they're just dragons who cares I do but you know anyway what I liked about this is that they have a lot of human um, characteristics a lot more than the dragons of um, Pyrea because unlike the dragons of Pyrea they know math and science and they have labs and stuff in their school and what I've noticed I don't remember tell me if I'm wrong but they have glass here too I don't remember if Wings of Fire Pyreans have glass please tell me in the comments down below if they do I don't know but I know that they didn't have math or science, which means I think that's a great add-on. Um, I enjoyed how Sundu was in it. Sundu's a great character. I like her. Okay. The new ship. If you think that Blue and Cricket should go together, that's great. I do too. I love Blue and Cricket. I love Blue. Lick it. I think that's what's the ship name right now. But I think it was really rushed because he's running from Hive Wings, he meets this girl, boom, they're engaged. I don't know. But you know, he's just like, whoa, hold on a second. And then they're hiding in a trap door and he puts her talent on his heart and he's like, stay with me. And that's like on page 82. And that's like, it's so early in the book. Out of 302 pages in the book, it's... Mm. Anyway, question for the creator of the book. Why does Blue have wings? Like, in the end of the book... Um, I'm just skipping on for books. Like, I'm not going to say stuff in order. I'm just going to say what goes to mind because I have no idea. Anyway, in the end of the book... Blue is in a cave and he's not feeling well because they figure out he's a he's gonna be a flame silk because his wrists are like red after they save him from the cave and he's he's in the part of the cave that the leaf wings made and then Sundu I mean Swordtail and Luna are like I want to go fly Luna has wings we gotta go and then they hear screaming and high wings attack them and I didn't like how rushed it was. See, a lot of things were rushed in this book. What I didn't like is that they rushed Luna's disappearance. It was only in like this small little paragraph. Like it was literally like this big. And so 
it basically said she was trying to fight them with her Spider-Man fire powers, and then the storm just took her away, she flew away, and then Swordtail flew after her, and that was it. It was very short. Um, what I also didn't like was at the end, Cricket takes him into a farther place so the high wings don't find him, and he's like, and she's like, blue. Sundew can handle herself, and then that's the last time you ever see a Sundew. And then Blue goes into his metamorphosis. So, like, he didn't even have wings throughout the entire book. It would have been better if, if they made, like, him without wings. Yeah. But here's the disappointed part of my book. No poster. It's fine. I, I don't need that Barnes & Noble edition. Okay, I'm weird. Anyway, I liked how they kept tying in things from clear sight because it just kept bringing back like, oh, the black scales were descendants from clear sight, and oh, clear sight this, and oh, clear sight that, and I didn't like it at the beginning, but then I started to like it as it went on, and then I, I was like, I want to go back to Pyrea now. Excuse me. I want to see what's happening with everything. But then as I read on, I really, really liked it. It's way better. Way better than the fourth one. I never really liked the fourth book. But it was actually very good. I had a hard time imagining the dragons because we were so used to the Pyrean dragons. And I was like... Hive wing, hive wing, hive wing, gotta look back, oh, that's a hive wing, and like, oh, that's a silk wing, and oh, that's a leaf wing. <sighs> I looked back so many times. But then at the end, when Luna is in Pyrea, she's laying on the beach or whatever, and she sees Jerboa too. And then she explained how Jerboa too looked like, and they were like, only two wings, and like, they were bat-like, but not furry. I actually... This is so weird. I had to go and look at my books, and I had to look and see what they looked like, because I was so used to the bug-like wings, and I was like, oh yeah, bug-like wings. And so, like, then I imagined Jerboa 2 with insect wings, and I was like, I've been drawing these characters since I was, like, 10 years old. How do I not know this? And I, I felt so embarrassed, but it's fine. Anyway... If I had to score this book, like, rate it, I would obviously rate, like, a 9 out of 10. Like, seriously, it was that good. I really liked it. I didn't think I'd like it, but I loved it. I loved the new characters. I loved the new relationships. I loved, I loved, I loved everything about it, and I loved how it brought in tension between the tribes, and I know that there are only three tribes, but... I mean, it was better than last time when Clear Sight came and there were only two. So, upgrade, there might be four. And so, that's what I was thinking. Like, maybe the dragons in the first two arcs were... It started off as only two tribes, and then it was three, and then it was four, and then it was five, then six, and seven. And I, I thought that was, like, really cool. I don't know. I don't know. Because... The, the island actually has, like, a habitat for all of the dragons. I don't know. Um, you never know, when you look at the map in this book, you never know what the poison jungle is. It's on the head. That one. Um, they never explain it, so maybe that's where the... That's probably where the leaf wings are hiding. They never, um mention like um, Lake Scorpion and Beetle Lake. But we have another four books to go in this series and I just I'm excited. I want to read the next book. It's so good. This book is so good. If you don't have this book I know it's just asleep. If you don't have this book, get it. It is so good. I loved it add it to the collection, you know? Anyway, 
it's amazing and I love the characters. I love Blue and I'm excited for the next book which is supposed to be revolved around Cricket. So now you can see inside her mind and actually see if she likes Blue. But we all know that she does. We just do. Anyway guys, I think that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching and listening to me speak. Anyway, look at this shirt. It's Winter's 25 Essential Expressions. It's so cool. It was made by me, Rose and Jim. <laughs> They're all the same pictures. It's fine. <laughs> anyway, I, mm, I can't speak today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, and do all that stuff. <laughs> anyway, I don't know how many times I'm going to say the word anyway, but Bye, guys. <laughs>